Welcome back to Super Roblox. Today, this video will be on the game Identity Fraud. If you don't know, Identity Fraud is a game where you have to get through mazes and solve puzzles at the end of each one to enter the next maze. Even if you do play the game, you might not know that there are actually two secret doors located in Maze 2. Solving Maze 1 is simple enough, especially if you use my map that's on screen. Just hopefully, you won't encounter any monsters on your way there. Disclaimer, for the first secret door, the code and button may not always appear in server. It may just not be there. But once you reach Maze 2, the easiest way to get to the first secret door is to just keep turning left. While this is not the fastest way, this is the most simple, surefire way of getting there. Just keep a hold onto that left wall and just turn around at dead ends, still clinging to the left wall. If you're lucky and the button and code are there, you should find it along a stretch that leads to a dead end. Warning, while trying to decipher the code, Stan may appear at any time and kill you. I really recommend waiting for Stan to appear so you can stare at him while deciphering the code, making it a lot safer. You may look at the code and have no idea what it is. Luckily, it's a one-to-one -one encryption, meaning for each character in the code, it represents one letter that we need to decrypt. This encrypted code is ROT13. If you don't know what that is, it means that you take each letter in the code and replace it with the 13th letter after it. Simple enough to decrypt yourself, but if you want to do it without making a decipher sheet, you can go to a ROT13 decryption website. The message you should get is the code is, and then it will have numbers in letter form. Remember, the code will be different from mine and will normally be different in every server. When you enter the code in chat, a big, loud, low-sounding horn will play and smoke will rise from the secret door. Once it opens, you'll find a ramp down to a red carpeted hallway, at the end of which has a big beam of light and has the logo of Netgear in the middle. What's the point of this room? No one really knows. The door shuts behind you, but if you want to get out, just type in the same code in chat as you did the last time and it should open for you again. Okay, now for secret door two. Coming from the first secret door, all you have to do is hold onto the left wall again. But this time, if you don't want to miss the door, when I say hold on to the wall, you need to literally be touching the wall. Because to get to this door, there is a secret passage that's behind a false wall that you can walk right through.
The hallway of the secret passage looks exactly like the hallways of Maze 1, and it's really dark, with the only light being from a slowly strobing red light. Once you get to the end of the hallway, you will be greeted to the secret door in code, but no button! When you get close to the door, you may hear some music playing from behind the door. Like I said before, I recommend baiting Stan to try to kill you so you can stare at him, making him harmless while you try to decipher the code. The encrypted code is base 64. The code is harder to decipher than the last one, so I advise you just to go to a website that can decrypt base 64 code. Make sure you put in the right capitals and don't mistake I's for an L. If your code has a dash at the end of it, try putting the numbers only in the chat. If that doesn't open the door, then try adding a number at the end where the dash would be. If you try all numbers 1 through 9 and it doesn't work, then you put in the wrong code or you decrypted it wrong and you need to try to decrypt it again. Once you finally put in the right code, the music will get louder and the door will start opening and it opens by sliding down into the ground. You will find yourself in a disco party room. Just remember, Stan can still get you in there, so you have to keep your guard up. While the last secret room had no reason of existing, there seemed to have no point. This one actually has a reward for you. There's a secret entrance to Maze 3. If you go to the opposite corner from the entrance, there's a little hallway, really tiny hallway, to a door that you see all the time scattered around in Maze 3. When you get near it, it will slide to the left, leaving a little crack for you to exit through into Maze 3. This is critical. Once you exit, you can't go back into the party room the way you exited. The door will not open for you on the outside. So if you want to prolong the feeling of getting into the secret room, just stay in there. If you need directions from the exit of Maze 3 from the secret entrance, just watch as I will guide you through it. And there you have it. If you guys have any more ideas for identity fraud videos, post your ideas in the comments. Also, what are some other scary games on Roblox that you've played? Thanks for watching, stay fast, stay speedy, and I will see you in my next video. If you want to support my channel, consider buying one of my support shirts or support pants in the description below. Right now, the shirt is 5 Robux and the pants are also 5 Robux. I also uploaded a new shirt for the autumn refresh my channel is going through, and it will be 10 Robux. You know what? Maybe in the future I'll actually have some real life Super Roblox shirts for sale.